yourself of IELTS Ask and Answer, the best destination for anything IELTS related. In the previous episode, we talked about the general topics of the speaking test, and today we're going to dig deeper into one part of the test, that is the part one. And we also welcome back Mr. Jim, our lecturer at AB Center. Glad to see you back in the academy. How do you feel, Mr. Jim? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. And you? Mm -hmm, I'm good too. Alright, so in the previous episode, we talked about some general topics of the speaking test. And some students, they have feedback that uh, the, your answers are very helpful. Alright, okay, and they great. want to know more about one part of the test, that is the part one. Mm. Alright, so today I have in my hand here a list of some questions from the students. Okay. Are you ready to answer? Ready. Alright, now the first question. Uh, what is the format of the speaking test part one? Uh, so the format for part one is an interview style set of questions. Um, they are of familiar topics, mm -hmm. stuff like hometown, uh, school or work, uh, friends and family. Yeah. Alright, so how should I grade the exam minor? Because this is the first part of the test, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, when you come in, the examiner will greet you and ask for your ID. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you can just feel comfortable and relaxed when you go in there. Greet him quite naturally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright. Okay, next question. Uh, how long should I, pick, uh, should I speak in part number one? And do I have to expand my answers? Uh, there's, no, there's no time limit on how long you should speak in part one. Um, of course, expand your answers. Give a little bit more information. Uh, so answer the question and give some further information or an example of your answer. So, so it's important to expand the, the answers? Yes. Oh, yes. Alright. Okay, next question. Uh, what should I do if I don't understand some of the questions in this part? Uh, again, just um, ask your examiner to repeat the question, um, but that's the only kind of help they will give you. They will just only be able to repeat the question for you. Oh, so, so they don't explain the question? No, they do not. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah. Are they going to be difficult? <laughs> <laughs> no, it won't be difficult. The questions in part one are very, they should be quite easy. For you. Mm, yeah. uh, all right. All yeah. Okay, right. next question. Uh, what happens if my answer includes the answer to the next question in the list? Uh, don't worry, uh, because the examiner has a long list of questions. Uh, if you answer his next question, he will choose a different question to ask you next. Mm. All right. Okay. And now I have one last question. Mm -hmm. uh, why does the examiner sometimes interrupt the answer? Okay, so sometimes the examiner will interrupt your answer. Uh, don't worry. Uh, there are. There are three main reasons. Uh, one reason is uh, because he's got a time limit to keep to. Mm -hmm. uh, the second reason could be that they are happy with your answer and they want to check your English for another, uh, with another question. Uh, or the third reason could be that you have gone off topic mm -hmm. and uh, so they think it's not relevant. Yeah, but don't worry mm -hmm. if they interrupt you. Oh, all right. So yeah. thank you so much for all the help with problems during the test. Mm. And now I have one more question. Uh, if the student want to prepare for the test, the part one, what should they do? Uh, as always, you can go to the ABIT fan page to learn new techniques and um, watch some videos about how to prepare. Mm -hmm. uh, always keep learning new vocabulary and use your English wherever possible. Thank you yeah. very much. All right, and that's the end of the episode today. Thank you very much, right, Mr. Jin. Thanks again. All right, and see you guys in the next episode of IELTS Ask and Answer, your best destination for anything IELTS related. See you.